National Motorcycle Safety Month, and many of us really haven't seen a lot of motorcycles on the road recently with the colder weather. But with things warming up, it's a good time for a refresher on motorcycle safety. And for that, we turn to Tom Sinus from Sinus Jamis Law Firm. Hi, Tom. Hi, Todd. How are you? I'm well. Uh, I used to ride a motorcycle, uh, but that was in California. And I'm sure it's different from state to state. So in Michigan, who gets to ride a bike? Great question. Of course, it is different in state to state. So let's start with a very basic rule here about when you can lawfully operate a motorcycle. And in Michigan, we have a concept that people commonly know as a motorcycle endorsement, meaning that for people who are over the age of 18, they have to have a special endorsement on their driver's license that permits them to operate a motorcycle. So we don't have a motorcycle license per se, What we have is that for those over 18, you have to first have a driver's license, and then you have to add to that driver's license a motorcycle endorsement. And people get their endorsement, as people commonly know, by taking a class, a basic class that includes a a basic road test, as well as a written questionnaire. And these can be performed at public places. They can be performed at private businesses. But it's this it's this extra step that those who are over the age of 18 have to go through in order to get that motorcycle endorsement. Now, if you're under the age of 18, it's a little bit different. There still is the requirement of having a driver's license. But for those who are under the age of 18, if they want to get that motorcycle endorsement, then they actually have to go through a longer motorcycle safety course approved by the secretary of state. Either way, you need to end up with that motorcycle endorsement on your license. We do have a a, a concept called a temporary instruction permit where people can get like a temporary privilege to operate a motorcycle, but those generally last for only 180 days. So those are the kind of basic rules about who can drive a motorcycle and how. So you're going to have to know how to operate a vehicle, get that car, that automobile license before you can safely or legally uh, drive that motorcycle. What about helmets? I mean, that's always the big key, helmet law. Well, yeah, we've talked about this a lot, of course, because Michigan has had a helmet law that has been changed and repealed and repealed in, in part. So here's, of course, the most practical advice, which isn't legal advice. Please wear a helmet. In my line of work, of course, all I see are people who have been seriously hurt, and you never want to be in a situation where you're talking to an injured motorcyclist that that wasn't wearing a helmet. If motorcyclists are under the age of 21, they have to wear a crash helmet. People over the age of 21, again, I believe should, but legally, they can get out of that requirement under certain conditions. And the first is that they have to carry what's called first party medical benefits. And these are benefits that would pay their medical expenses if they were involved in a crash. And they have to carry a minimum of at least $20,000 in those motorcycle first party medical benefits. Secondly, they have to, coming back to our endorsement, they have to have had a motorcycle endorsement for at least two years or they have to have passed an approved motorcycle safety program, similar to what we just talked about. Only under those circumstances can the driver of a motorcycle operate without a helmet. And the first party medical benefit thing is not something that's common, and it's probably not something that most motorcyclists think about, but it's here, I think, in some sort of recognition that if you're riding without a helmet, you may very well end up more susceptible to injury, and so you may need that extra coverage but query whether it's worth it, especially if you only have the $20,000 in coverage. You know, a helmet's obviously the number one safety mechanism for those on motorcycles. Are there any other safety rules for those driving a motorcycle or are they the same for automobiles? Well, I think perhaps the best rule that, that everyone should know is, and this is directly out of the statute, a motorcycle is entitled to the full use of a lane. And a motor vehicle, a car, must not be driven in such a manner so as to deprive a motorcycle of the full use of a lane. And that's a different rule than, say, what we have for um, what we call low-speed vehicles or electric skateboards, these other type of electric or motorized vehicles that we sometimes see. It's a different rule for motorcycles, and it, it, it is really what it says. The motorcycle is entitled to a full use of the lane just like a car. So motorists should not expect or become annoyed 
if a motorcycle is not operating in the right hand of the lane because it's not intended in a, in a lane to have both a car and a motorcycle. If anybody out there wants to get more information about motorcycle safety or God forbid, maybe they have been injured, uh, who can they call? Well, they can find our law firm online at www.sinusdramus.com. They can give us a call at 616-301-3333 or shoot us an info, excuse me, shoot us an email at info at sinusdramus.com. There's also a bunch of great information out there from the Michigan Secretary of State's office uh, about some of these basic requirements, as well as some of the other insurance requirements. And perhaps we can talk some more about that later, but motorcyclists have a lot of good tools out there for them. 